Hello friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 15 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about map type columns in PySpark. We are also discuss about like how to retrieve the items from these map type columns. We are going to see that one as well. So firstly, please watch my previous videos where I have explained what is data frame, how to create a data frame. And also I explained about structure type, structure field. Also I explained about arrow type column, right? So this video is continuation to that videos. So in this video, we will be focusing on what is map type column, how to create it in a data frame. So let me practically show you this. So map type is nothing but like a dictionary type in Python. If you know Python, you know what is dictionary. Dictionary is nothing but like a JSON only. So if you see here, data from here to here, it's like a dictionary actually. It has a open floor bracket, then key, then it has a value. Then again one more key, then another value. So this kind of data we will use as a dictionary type in Python, right? So that same dictionary type in Python, if you want to get it as a column in data frames, then in the PySpark, you have to use this map type, okay? So let me practically implement this and show you. So for your understanding, right now, map type is nothing but like key value pairs, like JSON are like dictionary in python so please watch my uh, python playlist also if you want to know more about it so let's go to our browser where i have already opened my databricks workspace let me go to workspace here and then under users under my name let me try to create a new notebook and let me name it like map type notebook okay now let me hit create button to create this notebook so once the notebook creates here we will be seeing practically how to create this map type and how it look like so let me zoom in little bit here and here let's try to declare a variable called data which holds a list of tuples so in the tuple let's say first item is mahir which is a string and the second item i want to use a dictionary dictionary means like json syntax as i said which will contain key value pairs and here first key is maybe here okay and then for this key value is again string type uh, which is maybe black okay then comma second item in the dictionary is like i is the key then value for it is maybe brown okay so this is this represents mahir and his properties as one row so let me copy this here comma let me paste it once again and this time here let me change this value to of a and maybe here uh, black i maybe blue okay so now we have two rows of data here on top of that let's try to create a variable called schema which is again list first item indicates these values name and of a. so i want to give column name as name and then for the second item which holds the dictionary here so for that i want to give column name as properties okay then we all know that spark word will give actually spark session object in databricks or even in synapse on top of that control space to get a intelligence create data frame function to the data frame function i am passing my data variable and schema variable to create a data frame on top of it so that data frame i want to store it in a df variable and then after that df dot show also df dot let's try to print schema so let me hit shift enter and see what will happen so we have our data we have our schema we are supplying those variables into create data frame function to create a data frame and then we are showing the data frame and printing the schema if you see here in the schema name is a string and properties is a map so this is like a map data type or map type so the map type will contain key value pairs like dictionary like json as i said so how come my data frame knows this column type as a map as i said before many times so this create data frame function will infer the schemas based upon the data you pass automatically so since you are passing dictionary kind of data it will by default infer the data type as map type okay so now if you see here the map type column values they came as a key value pairs right so you're not able to see full data right so if you see my previous videos where i explained about this show function if you pass show value as a false then it will give full data here so let me hit shift enter 
and see this time properties column see we got eye brown hair black for mahir eye blue and hair black for Wafa. okay so this is how map type columns will be uh, created but here i know where i defined map type as a data type automatically it came because create data frame will take based upon the values you pass so let's assume i want to create the data frame schema explicitly so for that as i said in my previous videos you need to use structure type and structure fields inside that you need to use the map type so let me practically show you that so for that from from pyspark dot sql dot types we need to import there is something called structure type so let's import structure type structure type is nothing but like collection of structure fields so let me import that as well and also let's try to import string type and also let's try to import map type okay so let's import all the required classes and here structure type is collection of structure fields you know that right so structure type object has to be created as a schema to pass to the data frame to apply that schema so we are creating a structure type object and storing it into this variable so as i said structure type is collection of structure fields so let's use list here then i'm using a slash because i want to write the code in multiple lines so wherever the line ends use the slash in that case so here slash there is something called structure field so to the structure field we want to pass the column name and that column data type so first column name i want it to be like a name column and data type i want it as a string type so let's use that so this is first item slash then second structure type i mean structure field here column name we want properties then data type here we want as a map type why because we want to supply dictionary of values so for this map type class you need to supply key type and value type both so key type is string and value type is also string so i will be using string string type as a key comma then value type is also as a string so now you will be wondering how i know what kind of parameters we need to pass it here so for that it is very easy so what you can do always try to import that classes like this and use the help function so here what you can do help function map type so when i hit shift enter and if you see the documentation here it clearly says it will take key type value type and one optional which takes true or false to indicate whether it can take nulls or not and if you see the examples here for map type we are supplying key type and value type so i have already seen the documentation hence i directly written it here so in real time if you don't know when writing the code try to use the help function read the documentation and examples and implement the same now my code is ready let me hit shift enter to execute this entire cell firstly let me delete this second cell which i created and then let me zoom in and here let me hit shift enter to execute this code once again and see code executed successfully now if you see the same thing we got it properties column as a map type and explicitly we defined properties column as a map type also so let's go back to our presentation the same examples were shown here as well so we are creating a map type in which we are defining key type and value type and we are doing it now how to access the map type elements so what i mean let me go back to our uh, data frame here so instead of using df.slow let me use display function to the display function let me pass my data frame so in the display function you can actually see the results properly with navigations like this if you see here it came a, it got an arrow so it says it's a object which contains key i value brown key hair value black similarly it has another object i blue hair black so now i want to access maybe uh, i want to create a new row here one row is called hair another row is called i and in the hair column i want hair property value in the i column i want i property value so that means i want to access these elements how to do that so for that let me practically show you that so let's scroll down here here let me try to write it so to get a new column we have to use with column function so you guys know that if you have seen my previous video so i want a new column called hair 
okay and here to the hair column what i want is i want this uh, hair property so what you have to do df dot what is the column name which holds the uh, dictionary of values properties right so take the properties column on top of that use the indexer syntax in the index i want to access this hair column so h i r hair okay hair property i want to access it so this will create a new column called hair on top of my data frame let's try to save the data frame as a df1 here and then here let's try to show this data frame now so df dot show truncate false now let me hit shift enter and see the results you will be seeing a new column called hair and we are able to access the hair properties properly not only this what what we can do also on top of data frame let me use this with column function once again and let's try to create another column i and here you can use a different syntax as well so df dot properties dot you can use this get item and get field properties as well get item will get you the value of key so for example get item of i so let's try to store it in a new data frame called df2 and then let me try to do df2 dot show truncate equals to false now let me hit shift enter and see the results here now if you see we are able to access the i property as well so to access the properties you can use either of these syntaxes either this syntax or either this syntax anything is file so let me go back to our screen yeah so i just now shown how to use these syntaxes to access the map type elements that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much